Hi guys, welcome. Uh, I hope you've all had a good weekend or having a good weekend. Hi Dee and Candice and Diane and Kirby and Leisha and Pat and Dawn and Lulu and Maya and Tammy <laughs> and Kiwi and Holly. Hi guys, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Kathy. Yes, again, um, I was just in Becky's stream and uh, I dropped my pencils all over the floor. So uh, I was cleaning them up and my, my brushes, my good brushes. Hi, Alicia. <laughs> Hi, Helen. Hi, Bobby. Welcome. Hi, Loretta. Oh, that does. It's a pain. Our oh, YouTube was broken this morning, too. I tried to set up this live stream twice. Um, and the first time I did it, it came up saying that the video wasn't available. I'm like, that's because I haven't streamed yet, stupid YouTube. <laughs> but um, yeah, I had to delete that and start again. So I'm not sure what's wrong with YouTube today. It's broken. YouTube's always broken. <laughs> Hi, Meredith. Welcome. Hi, Nellie. Welcome. And Shadow saying hello today. Hi. Hi. You're going to disturb us while, what, at the start. Well, that's fine. Well, just don't knock my camera off, okay, madam? <laughs> Shadow says hi, everybody. And she she's checking out my soft tools for the pan pastels. No, you can't eat them. No, Shadow. No. Shadow, you can't eat them. Um <laughs> she, she's, Hi Dawn. Hi Kathy. <laughs> Very, very much, Princess Shadow. Now, what are you into? <laughs> she really likes um, nail files, too. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. I have one here that I... <sighs> she likes these, too. It's so weird. Why do cats like nail files? <laughs> if you want it, you got to come and get it. <laughs> Um, hi Kathy, welcome. We've got a few Kathys today now and a couple of Dawns. No, we're not using Pan Pastels, Pat. We're going to have a look at these lovelies by Jane Davenport. Somebody's messaging me. Let me get my phone. <laughs> Yeah, she loves it. Um, I don't know what it is. It's uh, Deb telling me that she's running late. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Welcome. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use the soft tools from the Pan Pastel. Um, from Pan Pastels. Ah! Softart.com. Uh, there's like these eyeshadow type ones and then there's the blue tools which is they come in different ones but I'm using a fairly small image today so um, I'm not going to be using those I might use that one but I'll probably just use these two today shadow no you can't have them no you can't have them shadow no um, no <laughs> Naughty, stop it. So, um, yeah, today... <laughs> she either wants her nails done or she wants to play with um, pastels today. What is it with them? What is wrong? Are they like rubber? Is that what it is? Did you not see them before? I have to be careful now because usually they're sitting out. Hi, Zeely, welcome. That's okay, Anne, no worries. Do what you can. Oh, <laughs> Who else just popped in that I just missed? You're really distracting, you know that? 
<laughs> no, I know. She knows now. She will attack. She's so clever too. She'll find it if I hide them. I'll have to put them in a drawer now. Um, <laughs> hi, Zeely. I did say hi. I was kind of distracted there, but. Oh, she is. I know. Hi, Raver, sweetie. <laughs> She's given up. She's like, no, nah, mum's not going to give them to me. She'll come back. She's watching them. She's got that scowled look on her face. <laughs> no, what are you into now? Goodness me, Missy. She's in a mood. <laughs> you are in a mood. She's gone now. She was chasing her little uh, rubbery worm thing before, but um, yeah, she gave up on that. All right, let's move in and have a look at what we're going to do today. So the other day I did a flip through of the Renaissance book by uh, Vivid Publishers and Shintaka Hara. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but um, and I did say that I would do an image from it. So that's what I'm doing today. So I've picked the three graces to do. So Renaissance colors are quite um dull <laughs> usually they're like uh, maroons reds dark blues things like that um i actually have golds maybe some oranges uh, but they're usually quite dark colors and um, the three graces i looked up this morning on um <laughs> on google and um and a lot of them are actually naked so a lot of the images i looked at they don't actually wear any clothes but i did find one that did have clothes so i'm going to try to do that today uh, so they've kind of got like greens blues some pastel -y type colors and uh, i'm going to do these as oranges because they've got little spots on them as well so um i'm going to use those kind of colors today i think pretty um but yeah three graces is a greek mythology it's supposed to be like grace um fertility all of those types of things hi donna welcome um Um, Shadow, we can't have Nerf guns here because um, Shadow eats them and it makes her sick. <laughs> she gets quite upset. But um, my son has a whole set and he had them in a tin and she managed to get the tin open and get them all out and rip them to pieces. Uh, so we have to be careful with them. Oh, Maya. Poppy's so cute. Maya sent me some photos this morning of her puppy. It's very cute. <laughs> so um, if you can't see that properly, I'll just uh, show you. It's Jane Davenport, Making Faces Mixed Media Ensemble, uh, Palette Pastels. This one's Birthday Suit. I'm going to take that out and show you. Yeah, I'm coming now. <laughs> So I'll just take it out of the packet because it had a plastic thing on it. So this is the palette. There's glare on it, I know. They look like makeup, don't they? I mean, you could try and use them as makeup, I guess. <laughs> I'm not recommending that, of course. <laughs> Uh, inside the packet there was also this little swatch card and uh, the name of the colours. So I'm going to assume they go in that way. So we've got romantic, perfect date, bouquet toss, glow, pinky promise, sun kiss, sunset kiss, Croquet, Cloud Nine, Folly, Bling, Dreamboat, Game Face, Blaze, Glorious, Gleam, Whisper, Saucy, and Bay. 
<laughs> so that's Jane Davenport. Jane Davenport. She's actually Australian too. Hi, Regina. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Michelle. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Becky. Welcome. Yeah, Becky was only on for a little bit, little bit about an hour. <laughs> um, so yeah, should we have a play? I'm thinking I might use um, maybe the square one. I'll just put a new thing on it. So I'm going to use the soft tools that you get with the pan pastels. Um, let me just get a new thing for this one. They're a little bit temperamental and you've got to kind of be a bit careful putting them on. Um, I don't think I've got any paper towel actually, so just get give me two sets. Something to clean, wipe them off on. Alright, well, we'll be back in one sec. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper towel. Got a bit of paper towel here to wipe them off onto. Um, Shadows <laughs> disrupted her. She was over here. So I don't know what she was doing. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. I caught you in the act, didn't I? Let's have a look at these colours, shall we? So we'll start with romantic. Ah, the card's shiny. <laughs> it doesn't collect any of it. There we go. Shh, shadow. Shh. Be noisy. Come on. Don't be noisy. <laughs> Just clean this soft tool off by wiping it on some paper towel. Shh. And I'm just going to use the this one's called Perfect Date. They're quite pretty. So you just clean the soft tool off by wiping it on some paper towel until it goes clean. And I've got Bouquet Toss. I'm not sure. Um, Becky, I could have a try. It's crappy paper towel. <laughs> it keeps picking up the paper. This is called Glow. Because it's sort of um, the material is shiny, like the card is shiny. It's not going on very well. So just got to rub on there. This is called Pinkle. Pinky promise, sorry. Pinkle. Can't read. Got no glasses on. <laughs> I've got some links for you guys. So um, this is the birthday suit one. I'll pop the link up for you. Uh, also, Jane Davenport has uh, a website where you can get things from. I actually found them cheaper on Amazon. Obviously, um, Amazon have specials and things like that. So, this is Sunset Kiss. I really like this color. It's pretty. There we go. It's nice, that one. Uh, what have I got here? Croquette. Croquette. <laughs> so, this is a <laughs> these are brand new. They came in the mail, actually, when I was live on Friday. They were sitting out the front. Door when I finish my live stream. 
didn't didn't knock just left them at the door cloud nine <laughs> uh, they are rich <laughs> Becky <laughs> that's me all the time ADD mental brain uh, folly yeah, I'm not using a lot. They're quite um, pigmented. It's just that the paper's pretty crappy. Um, you would have thought they would have put some sort of pastel paper there, but or something that would be able to take it a little better. So these are all the skin sort of set. This is called Bling. So I thought what we might do is we might do a layer of... I probably should test it first, but do a layer of... Copic, a really light pale layer just to cover over the paper and then do this for the highlights and shadows and things. That was called Dream Boat. Game Face. I kind of feel like that's blurry. Why is that blurry? gosh oh, that's a little better so far they're really soft and gentle on the edges because of the paper all right let's look at blaze it's like a coppery orange sort of color it's got our yellow tone Yeah, I'd probably do pencil under them and use them like as a touch up or something like that. Um, but I guess it would depend on what kind of paper and what kind of pencils uh, that you were going to use. this one gleam and that's dark nice shadow color very dark that one and the last ones uh, I might do the white last because I don't want to contaminate it too much go from this way this is bay oh that's pretty that's a um like a brown burgundy brown color I like that I'll probably use that one a fair bit <laughs> reminds me of kaput mortuum mortuum kaput <laughs> she's playing with her toy that's why she's meowing she's like a dog I swear Yes, you are. It's hilarious. <laughs> She's like, Mom, don't talk about me. And this one is like a white colour, so just whisper. You won't be able to see it there, I don't think. So that's them. Now, there's lots of different types of palettes. She's got a few different ones, um, but I've popped the link there. I'll just add it again for you. <laughs> she is cute. And um, the Renaissance book, it is also on Amazon. I'll pop the Amazon link up here as well. And uh, I'll do a quick flip through of it now for you as well. So I did do one on uh, Friday, but I'll do a quick one now for you. Um, so there is a bit of music, and if you don't like the music, you know, you can 
<laughs> turn it down. And um, yeah, I, okay, I think I've got it here. Let me just see if I can get it to come up. I'm having trouble today. So um, that's it. I quite like the uh, strate strategically placed leaves and other things in there. Um, welcome, uh, Bobby, Joey, uh, Shara. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Bobby. Um, so no, the tools don't go with it. Um, whoever asked before, I missed you there. They're the uh, Pan Pastel soft tools. Uh, nothing came with it, just the little card and... Um, the pastels with the in the box but um I think you can get she does have tools and things as well but it's not included with the set 
So um, I actually printed this on Nina Classic Crest or the white and I did actually lighten it slightly because I, I found it a little bit dark so I just made sure that I put it on a lighter setting when I printed it um, so it's not quite as dark. Oh Rochelle, that sounds like a... Hi Angela, welcome. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a lot of work. I have a somehow hi sue welcome um i uh i've um committed myself to quite a few of the uh the community project pictures so uh hi kelly um i think somebody was telling me last week nelly that the pdf comes with the with the full book i think if you buy the full book you get the pdf yeah, Loretta, I've got three, two. I've got two doubles pages and a single page. So that's going to be fun. I don't know when I'm going to get time to do that <laughs> and do Patreon as well. Um, but I'm just going to do a light layer, light layer. I'm just going to do a layer. Hi, Teresa, of E000 over the whole skin. I just want to make sure I've got a layer of color down first. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And, uh, and then I can go in and we'll use the pastels for a bit of shading and uh, some colour in their cheeks and things like that. Probably don't need to do a layer, but because um, I'm not sure how it's going to go on the Nina. Uh, if it is patchy, at least this will cover up some of that. And of course my marker's dying. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, it's not like I'm live or anything. <laughs> you know, just one of those days. Uh, let me find a refill. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of um, uh, beautiful images in this and um, yeah, I do have pan pastels as well, but um, I just got these to try and see how they were. Just uh, filling my marker up again and again and again. Yeah, anyway, Nelly got five. Oh gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> you got one out of each book. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I committed. Oh yeah, I can do that. And this morning I was looking at, I'm going, can I do that in that time? Two months though, that's pretty good. I think I'll be able to get it done. Oh, you don't have that book, Maya. I was very lucky. Melody gave me a couple of those books, actually. The lovely, lovely Melody, who apparently it's her birthday. Were you saying, Becky? So big happy birthday to her. Squeak, 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 squeak. There's a lot of bare skin in this one. As I said, not as much as the um, ones that I saw this morning. <laughs> I 
There's a lot of uh, like Mona Lisa style ladies in here. So I think the Three Graces was originally a, um, a statue first, wasn't it? Before it was a painting. Um, I, I was at Sammy's for a little bit. And then totally fell asleep. like she had streaks on her face I just had to go back over that one <laughs> and uh, just the top one here as well doing lots of layers helps with depth as well so do you guys like the um, shadow box picture finished it came up really good it took me longer than I thought it was going to actually and then I had to go buy tape because I couldn't find my foam tape. <laughs> and, um, I've got it here, I'll show you finished. Oh, it's been sitting under books, but it's still quite high. Let's sit there. So I've got the I can see that it's kind of 3D-ish looking. <laughs> Came out pretty cool. Ended up buying a really skinny, um, skinny knife to cut some of the smaller pieces out too. Mum was a bit blunt, and um, yeah, I wanted something that was quite skinny and sharp to get in and do those smaller bits. <laughs> my little smart spoilt little puppy <laughs> all right that's my markers done let's see how we go with this shall we shall we Oh, uh, okay, I think we might go light to dark because the it's going to be harder to take the dark down. Yeah, so we'll do it like watercolor. We'll go light to dark. So let's add a bit of this bling, bling, bling. It sounds like I have no voice. And oh my, what Fitbit's upside down too? I'll play down. <laughs> I'm doing well. Um, what was I saying? See, now I've lost my train of thought. So ADD brain today. <laughs> Just remind me, what was I saying? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like watercolours, light to dark, because we won't be able to take some of that dark off. If we go too dark, it'll be harder to do that. I think we'll do one and we'll see how it looks. Practice. By the last one, we'll have it down. So there's a fair bit of dark in this along the side of the face, so yeah, I'm glad I did the layer underneath because uh, the paper is quite smooth. It's like the card, and it's only grabbing in some bit, so um, having that layer underneath is just going to help keep it nice and smooth they're actually quite nice they're just soft 
They're just going on nicely. But I love these tools. They're really um, awesome for this kind of thing. So I think I have to put that down to some of that. But this is only the first little bit that we're doing. So once we get some of those darker colours on. I'm going to use this one here, which is Game Face. Just in the top of the eyes there. Down the side of the nose. Nope, that one. Remembering where I was. They're quite nice. They're going on nice. I'm going to treat it like I treat markers. It's got a bit rough. <laughs> it's looking good so far. What do you think? I think I quite like the convenience of this little tiny pan too. Um, when I get my pan pastels out, the, I've only got a really large palette and it takes up most of my desk. So um, I do find it hard getting them out and working with them just on the fly, I guess. I have to plan to be using them. Gonna go a little bit darker now with that um, bay color because I like that, it's nice just in those really dark shadow areas and I'm just sort of bleeding it out into the rest of the skin just wipe some of that off it's nice it looks nice it's blending in nice and smoothly Um, I'm going to say yes, Rochelle, because, um, yeah, I'm going to say yes, you probably would. Um, but I don't put, <laughs> I don't put fixatives on mine unless I'm going to be keeping them out. This will be going away, so I probably won't put anything on it. Um, and I'll be using markers on the rest of it, so I don't have a fixative that will go over the markers without making them bleed. How she looks so far. I think she's looking pretty cool. Let's just go a little bit of this brown here. Glorious. Because we're glorious. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. That is glorious. <laughs> glorious. She's got a lovely, lovely glow now. Oh, really, Donna? I have never seen them before. This is the first time. So, I quite like it. It's quite nice so far. I'm going to add a little bit of pink, that darker pink, to the sides of the face here. Just blending it out into the cheek area. It's pretty. 
just going to add a little bit more in this side kind of just dabbing it on too I'm not using a lot of color just going to wipe that off blend that out okay I'm going to use a little bit more of that bling just to blend that out on the edges a bit bling bling <laughs> bling bling yeah it's good it's coming out awesome um, slightly patchy in areas but as I said I think that's because of the paper that I'm using um, Let's use a tiny bit of that white colour, Whisper, just down the nose. Good, maybe a bit lighter. good let's do some darker underneath her neck there the reason I like these soft tools is because uh, they're a lot smaller um, a little bit easier for me to handle than the bigger ones but the big one's got like a little, this one has a little pointed bit so you can get into the really tiny areas, which is kind of cool. Okay, now going in with the, I'm trying dark to light this time. This is the glorious over the top. See, that works all right too. I think you could do either. Just remember though that you, it's harder to get dark off. I'll test it with some with some uh, eraser as well to make sure it erases. So if you have any spots that have got, let's have a look. My mono eraser, I'll just clean that off. Yep, it erases too. So you can have a bit of a highlight in some areas, and it erases. So that's good. Well, this is a paper that I always use, so, um, but I know that it doesn't do well with pans, like they're not very, it's not very even for some reason, and I think it's because it's so smooth. Um, I use the pan pastels on the um, Canson watercolour paper, and it came up awesome. <laughs> Michelle, uh, I need lighter now. Is that one we use? That one. Bling. Bling, bling. I think that's a good mix of colour. It's a little bit darker under the chin than it is anywhere else, so. A bit of dark. I'm using the dark side, but there's hardly any left on it now, so it's just really leaving a nice faint color on there, which is fine. Well, I'm impressed so far. They're looking good. 
fill out some more of the lighter color. Just making it slightly darker on the um, hairline there. Just across the collarbone. Hi Selena, welcome. Just trying out some palette pastels. Palette palette pastels, yeah, that's what they're called. I have to say that to my brain again to get it right. <laughs> So far, I quite like them. They're um, quite nice. I quite often will use the um, Carbothello pencils, chalk pencils, for touching up and things like that. Um, but these would be handy to do when you've got... I know sometimes with marker, it can look a little streaky and you can go back in and add a little bit of colour over the top to smooth it out a bit. To add a bit more of a glow or it's my skin. Yeah, it's quite nice. They are looking quite nice. And obviously it's hard to tell with the lighting, but I think they look alright. I was going to test a little bit of pencil over the top to see. Somebody asked about having pencil, so let's do a test of that, hey? Uh, what have I got here? Got a polychromos here, sanguine, it's a good colour. Good skin colour. Yep, pencils work over the top, guys. Um, actually, quite well. I guess because you're not flattening out the tooth of the paper, it's quite easy for you to go back in and add. Like it's it's a mixed media, um, so you can use things together. I like trying to work out things and see if they work together. So I think that's all I've got actually for skin type colors, but it looks quite good. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Get some cinnamon out, maybe just to soften that color off a bit. So that was just uh, polychromos that went quite nice over the top. Nice. Say what six times? <laughs> what the 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 fact? <laughs> 
What did I do? What did I say? Did I make up a word again? I'll do that. So, uh, Alicia, if you're uh, listening there, this is the polychromos. It was cinnamon and sanguine that I just used. We're going to put the colour list up on um, Patreon. It won't include the pastel colours, but anything else I use will pop on for us. Unless you want them, patrons, guys, whoever's here. If you wanted her to put the colours in that I used. Now I'm going to try adding this over the top of the pencil. Let's go a little bit of that. No, not that one, that one. Guess what? It goes over pencil too. There you go. So it does both ways. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Alicia. Alicia is my daughter. She's my secretary. <laughs> All right, uh, let's continue on with these down here. Just adding a little bit of that lighter color. What was that called again? Bling, bling, bling. Kind of. Can you see that? It's kind of patchy, but I think that's me with the. Trying to get it a bit smoother there. So it's grabbing on some of the paper but not other parts. And that's the way I'm applying it, obviously. That's better. Just need to add a little bit more to cover it a bit more. It's looking good. I love that, uh, this colour. The bay. B-A-E, it's spelled. I'm pronouncing it right, am I? Is it bay? <laughs> it's a really nice, rich, reddy, purpley colour. <laughs> That'll be the names of my coloured pencils. Reddy, purpley kind of colour. <laughs> I'll have my own brand with all these weird names. <laughs> do you want some more links? Yeah. What do you want? The pastels? This is the US, uh, US site. Um, I'm pretty sure I ordered them from Amazon Australia, though, so you should be able to get them there as well. Um, if you can't get them on Amazon Australia, if you're in Australia and you're looking for them, her website, go to her website because uh, she has them there as well. And I would think that they'd be a little bit more direct and you may get them sooner. This took like three weeks to get here, I think, from Amazon. Excuse me, sniffing away. <laughs> Got a bit of hay fever today, I think. Just added a little bit of the dream boat in there as well. It's quite nice too. The colours mix really well in together. I might try a violet, the violet up the top, the romantic in some of the shadow areas on the next girl.
Did you say, Helen, that you could buy them separately as well? Because uh, I think I'm going to use this bling color a lot. So if I want to, <laughs> if I can replace just the one color. Oh, there you go. They must be getting more. Bye, Dawn. Hi, Beth. How are you? Let's just see if we can erase it from the necklace there. Just get rid of it around the edges because you know we're going to use marker in those. We don't want to get them on the markers. I think we need a darker in here. definitely takes more time than using markers because uh, you kind of got to put some on see how it looks and then you know go and blend it out and then put some more on and <laughs> so it might take you a bit longer but I really do think um, they'd be quite versatile for a lot of things Yeah. Just wondering whether I need a little bit of yellow in here now. I think it's gone a bit pink. Give it a go. So that was the folly kind of reminds me of uh, E21 in the Copics. It's good. It's good. I like that on there, that's nice. <laughs> no, Beth. It's the uh, Jane Davenport uh, birthday suit pan palette, palette pastel set. It's a bloody mouthful. <laughs> For this nasally Aussie over here. I just added some of that folly into the face as well. Just got rid of that pink and just sort of made it more neutral, I think. It's good. I like it. I'm really enjoying these. Sorry that I'm spending so much time on one sort of, you know, girl, but <laughs> I want to make it nice. Got to give them a good try, hey? Uh, that actually filled in some of the gaps that I had too. Now I'm just going to use that sanguine under the chin here. 
just to redefine that line. And a little bit of the cinnamon. There we go, just darkened it up a little bit. Let's move down to her arm here. Um, I need a bit more of that one first. That was the bling. And then a little bit more of that yellow, which was called folly, because it's all folly. I'm still seeing some gaps in here. But it's not too bad. Can you see that? Now that could be because I've got I put my finger on there <laughs> and um some oil's gotten onto the paper and it's sticking to that part more than it's sticking to any other part. that's okay so what I might do is let's have a look at doing um, just add a little bit more of that darker color here what was that a gleam I was just going to do a little bit of pencil work and then see if we can I mean, we did it a little bit up there, but just dabbing some on these sections here, just defining them a little bit more. What colours for orange is blue? So your complementary colours cancel each other out. <laughs> There's no blues in this set, they're all um, purple tones. Which I guess is blue, hey? <laughs> um, it was blue red. Okay, let's do some sanguine for on the fingers here oh here we'll do her hand first so we've done that whole girl just go upside down <laughs> upside down upside down if you're an Aussie you'll know what that's from so this is uh, sanguine again just going to do a little bit of scribble with the pencil and then I'm going to go over it with the pastels and see how it looks. Cinnamon. I 
I find uh, Loretta when I'm doing darker skin tones, uh, orange is really good because it's uh, orange. Blue is really good with the orange just to take that orange sort of colour out of it. Okay, so that's a little bit of pencil work, and then I'm going to put some pastel over the top and see how that looks. Because, oh, good on me. Yeah, I just did that. I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of that either. Okay, maybe I'm lying. I'm just going to remove that because I think there was a bit of oil in there. <laughs> I'll just redo that bit. Oh really Loretta? I don't, didn't really find them that great but I've only used them a couple of times. I find them really oily perhaps is what the word I'm kind of looking for here. Maybe I got a bad lot but yeah. Kind of looks a bit muscular now, but that's all right. She's a fairly well built woman. <laughs> there we go. Okay, coming back to this, I'm going to use some of the gleam over the pencil and see how that goes. Gosh, you don't need much. That's good. That's a good thing. It's got good pigment. Just putting a little bit of the bay in that dark area as well. So it goes over pencil awesome. I just blended it in and disappeared. Night Nelly. I'm not sure how they'll go over wax pencils like these ones are oil based. And a line down there now. Tch. Then I'm going to add a little bit of yellow over all of it. Oh, look, shadow. 
goodness me she's a shocker I'm quite happy with that skin put <clears throat> a little bit of that darker color down in there it's hard to get in there with that tool it doesn't have like a sharp edge so Good, good. What do you think? Your opinions. Do you want me to try some some uh, pencil color with it? Try wax based pencil. And um. Becky, I would have tried uh, water, but this paper's horrible with water. It doesn't like water that much. <laughs> Let me try getting out these. What have we got? We'll have a little bit of... Henna and some peach. Let's try henna and peach on this one. I'm going to be rubbing my hand over that. That was silly of me. I should have started on this side. Oh, yes. The challenge is tomorrow night uh, with May and... <laughs> Actually, I forgot all about that, but May and that aren't here anyway, so they'll probably re-watch. Re but um, I'm going to do the, cut the challenge today. I'm going to show you what I drew <laughs> what I drew I did a wheel um, a wheel picker thing for each of us and uh, spun the wheel for each of us to work out what we'll be doing and uh, I recorded it so I'll play that back and you'll be able to see what they're going to be doing it's going to be fun I don't know what May's going to do, but I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I don't know what image we're going to use yet. That's one thing we haven't worked out yet. Okay, so that was Peach and Hannah in the darker areas. I'm going to go over the top of that now with the pastel. We'll go with that bay colour first. I've got the link for it if you wanted to put a reminder on. Yeah, I set it up this morning after YouTube unbroke. <laughs> uh, let's use some of that gleam. I 
she's looking quite uh, odd, isn't she? Ugly duckling. Don't worry, she'll become a swan. And then coming over with the game face. What a name. Just using the tool to sort of push it around and blend it in. So this time I'm going dark to light. Kind of shaping the cheeks and things as I go. And uh, that went over the pencil really well. <laughs> Maya, she's so cute. Hi, Danielle. Welcome. <laughs> I don't know what time of the day it is for that because it's evening for you guys now yeah My tool's getting really dirty. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll go that mid, mid one, the dream boat, because I've done that quite dark. Wrong one. Hold on. Lovely. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> it's nice. Just putting a light layer of that on and then I can put that lighter one over the top. Going in with the bling, bling, bling. She looks terrible. I need a, the lighter colour now. 
Uh, let's go in with the bling a bit more there. She's really patchy looking, isn't she? Ah, uh, that's a bit better. She's starting to smooth out a little bit. Just being a little bit more careful where I'm placing it, making sure I'm covering all the gaps in any of those spots that were a little off. There's a lighter section there, I'll just go in there. Fill in a little bit of dark there so it doesn't look quite blotchy. It's getting there. That's a bit better. <laughs> it's 11.18 here. Bit of the yellow. That yellow seems to just even everything up. I like it. It's good. It's not yellow. It's folly. <laughs> Just a bit of folly. She's a lot darker. <laughs> and um, that was using the uh, Prismacolors underneath it. So I'm not sure if it kind of came out a little bit more, I guess it didn't come out as even. I'm going to give it a little bit of that really light white over the top. See if I can lighten up these areas slightly. Oh yeah, that helped. So I've done a nice pale colour and then I've got a nice tone, a tan kind of looking one as well. A bit of both. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to go in with that pencil again. This is Henna. Just re go over the darkest areas.
and uh, you can still see that so you can use it both ways over and under for those that were asking What do you mean, Rochelle? <laughs> Excuse me, copy on camera there. This light source was kind of easy because it was already marked out. I mean, the darker sections are where he's actually cut, like drawn it darker. Hi Pickle, is Pickle here? Oh, are you talking about Pickle? Sorry. <laughs> Little bit of peach. Oh, I see Rochelle, yeah. It's hard to get lighting absolutely correct anyway. Light comes from all sorts of different sources. We did make this one a bit of a mixed media one, didn't we? <laughs> well, mixed pencils, mixed pastels, I guess. Okay, a bit more peach in there.
<laughs> no, I'm not. I'm still a bit tired. <laughs> um, <clears throat> still a bit tired. Getting there, though. The uh, antibiotics for my ear seems to throw me for a sixes, and it takes a little while for me to sort of get back on track. Alright, now back into the darker colours. <coughs> I've only got half an hour left too, so I was kind of trying to hurry and, you know, give us a bit of a, try and get the last girl done, but I wanted to try just a few different things for you guys so you can see how these things work um, in different situations. I'm looking forward to my laugh with May and Sammy tomorrow night, that's for sure. <laughs> it will be fun. So um, what I might actually do is I might show you the video. Um, so I did... <laughs> I did, you'll see, it's kind of funny. Sammy and I decided that we'd do something interesting for May. Um, so hers is slightly different to ours. Uh, if you guys don't know, May's least favourite colour is orange. <laughs> so um, we decided that she should colour with orange only tomorrow. And uh, I'll show you how and what I did. <laughs> Let me just open it up. So uh, Sammy's wheel, we had a whole heap of different colors. So we're doing a single color challenge. Sammy's colour was red and uh, I did a bit of a mix sort of wheel for what kind of medium that she would use so uh, she actually got free as her medium which was lucky then we had May <laughs> so May um, we decided that she doesn't get a choice in colour she's uh, using orange but I sort of thought we'd better spin for her anyway <laughs> and uh, I put all May's uh, mediums down as free because I wasn't sure what kind of thing she would have in orange because she doesn't like it that much. So I said basically she could use any of her orange colours. <laughs> and then for myself, um, my colour wheel came up with... Purple, which happens to be my favourite colour. But I was hoping to get a free... Uh, medium as well but I didn't get a free medium I was uh, lucky enough to just get marker <laughs> so um, yeah we had a bit of fun and um, that will be tomorrow night <laughs> so May has to use um, orange so that's going to be fun so make sure you drop in or watch it back. It only goes for an hour, our challenges. I, I figured that any more than that's getting a bit far, getting a bit too late for me and uh, getting a bit too long. And uh, it makes it more of a challenge having just that limited time as well. And there'll be some sort of twist, I'm sure. May got a triple twist, but you know. <laughs> It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So, uh, May, that's what you're using. <laughs> um, I'll pop the link up again for you um, and you can go and click on the remind me or notification thing that it comes up with. 
I thought I'd get it done early so that I could post it up for you today. They've been so much fun. Um, and I'm doing one with Erin next week. And um, the following week, uh, Christine. We're still yet to work out the details. But bit of fun. I'm being a bit rougher this time around. Let's see how it looks. I think this will be really good on some other types of papers. I should uh, do a bit of a test on some of my test pieces. Let's have a look. Let's try some Strathmore Bristol Smooth, the 300 series. Doesn't work very well on that. I'll go back and name them later. This is just Canson Coloured Card, it's like a kids brand. Hanson, like non artist brand cheap card. It's got pretty good tooth on it though. I'm just gonna use a darker colour because you can see the you can see more clearly. Oh it actually works quite nice on that. So this has actually got a bit of a tooth too. It's not too bad on that. And then I've got Nina, which you already know because I just did it, but I'll put some on and I'll mark it out later. It does come out quite smooth on the Nina. What else have I got? I've got some tan tone paper. This is the Strathmore 300 gram, 300 GSM, sorry, the 400 series. Try that again. Oh, it's really nice on this. This is a vellum finish, this one. It's really nice on that. Like, really, really smooth. And I've got Quillboard, which is a cheap brand here in Australia. I quite like it. It's nice paper. It's actually quite smooth on that, too. I like it on there. And I've got a little bit of Canson and My Tides paper. This is actual pastel paper. Uh, so on the smooth side, it's pretty good. And then I've got the rough side as well. which you can't really tell that's rough. I'm just going to do a few layers because it's supposed to be pastel paper. They come out pretty good. Anyway, they're the papers that I've got in general that I use. So, yeah, it's not too bad. I think the best one was the Tantone paper. It came out really, really smooth. No worries, Kenny. How are you? And that's no problems already. You can have a laugh if you watch it back, but <laughs> I don't expect you to, of course. 
All right, uh, where was I? I'm going back in with a little bit of that darker brown just over some of these areas. Actually, I think the Nina is probably as long as well as the Strathmore. The Nina is pretty smooth too, so that was a bit dark. Now I've got the game face. Going in and putting some of that on. <laughs> I actually think I might have been falling asleep before. <laughs> who was it that said, Joey, I think I was falling asleep. Was, was it you who asked? <laughs> Yeah, well, I was falling asleep too, Kenny. <laughs> it's all right. It's all good. Hi, Carmen. <laughs> Long way away. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I was definitely falling asleep. I think I've made her fingers too dark. This is very relaxing, you see, just sort of, and it's so soft and it's just going on so smoothly. It makes you just dreamy, you know, <laughs> it's dreamy. There you go, Miss Davenport. Your pastels are dreamy. <laughs> dreamy smooth I'm probably putting a bit too much on actually I've got a bit of over over dust there haven't I So we're starting a new colour along next week, guys. The lovely... <laughs> it's funny, I asked her how to pronounce her name and she said that the way I pronounce it is cute and she's happy for me to pronounce it that way. But um, she's it, her name is Dutch, so it's really hard to pronounce in English. But Melek the Shoemaker is going to be doing giving us an image at a discounted price, or already has actually done that, the fairy grayscale image in her shop. And we're going to be starting that next week, so that will be fun. I'm going to use Prismacolors. Prismacolor. And uh, it's another grayscale one this time, so we've did line up. And we're going to do another grayscale. It'll be good. It is a pretty little image, isn't it? And she was so nice to take some money off it for us because I was just going to do it. And, um, but yeah, she said she'd discount it for the, the month. So that's really good. Works out to be about 20% off. Time for some light colour. I had to swap tools. My other one was getting a bit yucky already. You can clean them off with the soft tools, but um, obviously for the purpose of this, I've just got two to make it a little bit easier. But it's kind of like painting. Having a couple of different paint brushes for different colours helps. Makes things a little bit easier, so you're not washing your brush all the time. 
Same kind of thing. Thanks, Kenny. Oh, really? I don't mind them. They're pretty good. As I was saying, more con for convenience, I was thinking too, like um, having the smaller palette on the desk is a little bit easier. I did a little bit of um, Prismacolor under this to see how it would go and over pencils and things. It probably is looking a little bit more it's not as smooth as this side. What do you reckon? And I wonder if that's because of the waxy base coming out on the rest of the skin. So perhaps not Prismacolors, but the Polychromos went really well. But I did that kind of a little bit in the darker areas, went over it, uh, and then did some more over the top again. But it's worth sort of playing around and trying some different blends to see what you like. But yeah, I think this one's a little bit more dodgy. The colour's not as smooth. <laughs> Dodgy's an Australian thing. We say that a lot. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And of course that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Because it's one of those days. <laughs> oh, that was posty. Pack down the arm here. <laughs> Thanks, Maya. I'm quite enjoying them, Kenny. I think they're they're nice and smooth. I, maybe that is because of my paper, but I just tried them on the uh, other some other papers, and the Strathmore Tantone paper they looked amazing on. I really don't like how her hands came out. They're a bit too dark, I think. Do some of that white. Well, if you can't afford pan pastels, I think this is a pretty good substitute. I do love pans, um, but as I was saying, for the convenience of these uh, and the price of them, I think they're pretty good. See, I probably only use pastels mainly for touch-ups and things anyway. Um, I have brought a pastel pad because I want to try doing a pastel image of my own. And um, I also have printed it, <laughs> popped onto some paper, kind of traced it in a way, I guess. Um, a Disney character for one of the Disney books that I've got to see if we could do pastel on black paper, how that would look.
It's actually not too bad now I've gone and filled it in, but... Night, Angela! <laughs> Thanks, Loretta! <laughs> We'll have to try that one day. You could just grab a paper sack. What's it? Can you get paper sack? I don't know. I have to color on it. Um, this is going over the top of the pastel, okay? It's kind of slippery, actually. It's the only way I can describe it. <laughs> this is kind of slippery. Just darkening up those shadows a little bit. the lines because I've gone over it with that white to lighten them up a little so we've done like an orange tone skin and we've done like a really nice browny purple tone and um, I think this one turned out the better of them maybe we need a little bit of pink in these cheeks up here I've got some sun kiss oh, that's pretty <laughs> Looks weird. What are you doing, Belinda? Eh, eh, much for the mattress. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's Jane Davenport. So it's D A V E N P O R T. Let me see if I can grab it. Ah, everything's falling down. My um, keyboard is <laughs> up on top of my desk. So let me just move that around. Type it out for you. So it's D A V E N P O R T. Or do you mean the artist page I'm going to be working on? <laughs> Hang on. I'll get the other one. Hang on. What Maya said. <laughs> yep. Hang on. I'll get it. Let me just... I didn't even think to do that. So this is the image... Uh, let me find it. That's the image we're going to be using. And uh, let me just grab my Etsy link. This is the link to it. And obviously that's her store as well. I'll just grab her store as well for you. So it's a hollow moon art shop. There you go. Is that all you needed? That is good. <laughs> I can see all the numbers dropping. <laughs> Everyone's popped out to check it out. All right. Um, let's do some purple undertones on this one. What have we got? What's this color called? Romantic. I actually believe that we're doing the lighter to darker probably worked a little bit better. But 
let's just do a base, really nice and light base of purple first in those darker areas. And uh, of course you can't see because I didn't take it back. <laughs> there we go. Hello. I'm using the purple now. Gosh, I really am out of it. Totally lost today. <laughs> totally lost. You know, this picture reminds me of one of those creepy pictures where you see the hands in the wrong places. But this is the other girl's hands and, and it looks kind of weird though. <laughs> darker in the middle? What do you mean darker in the middle, sweetie? That's strange. Let me look at the image. I'm pretty sure I've got it already. Let me just see. Oh, I haven't picked it up yet. So um, I'll have to buy it and let you know. Let me have a look. Yeah, I'll have a look into it because um, Holly, I'll chat with you in the group in the event. I know, Shara. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, Kenny. Most most medications like that have alcohol in them. Okay, I'm going to use that sort of pinky. I don't even know what color that is. It's called Bouquet Toss. Just a tiny bit. Uh, I'll have a look, Holly. I'll, when I I haven't purchased it yet, so um, I'll purchase it after this video and I'll go check it out. Um, I thought I already picked it up. I may have already brought it and just not downloaded it yet. It's probably still sitting in my shop thing. But yeah, I'll check it out and see if it prints okay for me. Um, now I think I need to move down into some of these browns. Maybe this one here, Cloud Nine. It's got a bit of orange in it. It's a good colour. I like that. So hopefully the purple will make that orange a little bit more pink, which it is. Cloud Nine. Well, so far, I'm really impressed with this. There's quite a few nice colours in here. There's a good mix, so you can have different skin tones. Obviously, I've done two there, so I've got a light and a dark, and this is going to be a different sort of tone. Um, so, yeah, great mix. And I think it's going to be a good product to do touch ups and things, even on pencil. Um, you know, if you have trouble smoothing out an area, you could use this over the top just to smooth it off a bit.
but yeah, nice. Kenny, you're not drunk. <laughs> Yeah, I think I need some um, antihistamines. I'm really blocked up now. <laughs> Sniffing away. Can't breathe through my nose. I'm speaking through my nose. Time's almost up, guys. I'll just try and finish this one off, Lee, so you can see her face finished at least. She's got a dot on her face there. That was actually in the print, so I don't know, just a pencil mark maybe. You could probably go and cut that out if you don't want it in there. That pink tone came out really nice. So I'm going to finish this image on off camera and put it, the rest of it up for patrons. So I fill the rest out with Copics and um, pop a colour chart up there when I'm done. It won't, won't be today though. It'll be tomorrow. I've got a guest coming today. But um, I'll do that. And then I'll try in the endeavour to get that Nocturnes one done so that I can get that out for you too. I quite like that tone as well. <laughs> Orange extract. Why am I not surprised someone would know that? <laughs> um, a uh, little bit of yellow. Complementary to purple, so... Falling asleep again, guys. It's just too relaxing. <laughs> and I don't have a squeaky chair today, so it doesn't, it's not waking me up. I quite like that mix of colours too came out nice so for that one I used romantic bouquet toss I use a little bit of <clears throat> what's that one there cloud nine and some bling with the uh, folly, 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 folly over the top. And then I might just use a little bit of whisper. Actually, do you think she needs some pink? Let's try the other pink. What's this one? Pink, pinky promise. Let's try that in the cheeks here. That's a pretty pink. <laughs> she looks like she's sunburnt. <laughs> she's good. Ah <laughs> uh, dear, let me clean this off. I need to use a wipe. 
<laughs> yep, you're definitely not, uh, you're drunk. It's not that good. <laughs> A little bit of white. So I wonder how May is going to cope with uh, using orange. Red's a good colour because red you could do pinks and reds you could do a lot with. Purples I could even do a lot with. Quite happy with that one so when I did the this one here this is the areas that I actually put pencil on and you can see how they kind of look a little strange um, I'm thinking that the wax build up underneath has made it kind of weird and patchy um, so on this one I didn't do any of that and it's not quite as patchy but it is still quite dark um, but yeah this one's definitely more dramatic than this one here. In fact, seeing those two against this one, it makes me want to just add a little bit more colour in this one. A little bit more depth just in that side bit. That's a bit better. What? <laughs> you guys are funny. Oh. Okay. I think I'm done. Um, I'll finish off the rest of the skin in um, this and then I'll finish off the rest in markers and we'll pop it up for patrons. Oh no, I've got it on my desk. I'm going to have to wipe it down now. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm sorry I fell asleep. <laughs> you guys got to watch me sleep. Colouring in my sleep, that's just the way it goes. It always has been, I think. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to tomorrow night and I'm looking forward to Friday too. And uh, Holly, I'll get in touch with you about that image too and uh, we can see if we can sort it out. And um, yeah, I think I'm good. I think we're done. They need lips, don't they? on some pink lips using the sun kiss sun sunset kiss Ugh, that's a mouthful too just using the corner of the triangle tool to pop it in Go with a bit of pencil to add some more detail later. Got uh, what have I got here? A little bit of deep red. pretty lips.
<laughs> Bye, Kenny. Hope you feel better. Oh, maybe. These soft tools were actually a pretty reasonable price. You get the tool and a packet of the um, little attachment things with it. I think it was like $7 or something. It was quite cheap. No, maybe it was $10 or something. I don't know, but it was good. Um, and these, obviously, um, they're going to be different all over the place. But um, I was actually quite impressed with those. I think for the price of what I paid for them, uh, like a pan pastel cost me $10. Australian dollars and this was about $29 I think and um, I I realized that the pan pastels are going to last a lot longer because they're obviously a lot larger but uh, for the convenience of this and to be able to use it on your desk like that without having to have that great big tray out like I would with my pan pastels um, and for someone who doesn't want to collect all the pan pastels they just want to use them for touch-ups and things like that I think that'll be good but um, I'm actually quite impressed with those I really like it I really like this book too um, I think that it's really pretty and I really like the way that he's covered up some of the bodies. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier for uh, me being community friendly <laughs> uh, and colouring pages like that. But um, yeah, I really like this one too. But um, that was it from me. I hope you like that guys and um, I'll pop the... I have put the products that I used in the description below so you can check that out. And um, there's all the, also already a link up for, for tomorrow's um, guest spot with May and Sammy. I'll pop it up again here. And uh, if you want to pop in and check out that and have a bit of a laugh with us. <laughs> I'll be awake then, all right, Joey? And... Um... <laughs> And uh, I look forward to seeing you all. And then we'll see you Friday for the start of our colour along. Holly, I'll get in touch with you, sweetie. Um, actually, send me a message because that will help remind me uh, because I've got someone coming now. But I will have a look at it when I purchase it this afternoon and see how it prints out and things like that. And I'll let you know. But that's it from me. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Here's a link for tomorrow night. I will see you later on. Bye, guys.